Ever wanted to dial in your StreamYard branding with custom fonts? Or have you gone into the studio recently and couldn't find the brand tab? <laughs> Newsflash, StreamYard has added 50 plus new fonts and they've replaced our beloved brand tab with two separate tabs. First, a media assets tab for logos, overlays, videos, backgrounds, and music. Second, a style tab for presets, brand color, theme, camera shapes, and the newly added fonts. You can even upload your own custom fonts too. I'll share look, feel, and some strategies for operations in the full video. So here we are inside the StreamYard studio. And uh, the first thing to really highlight is that these tabs, this is what we call them, I guess, you know, old school StreamYarders, that's what we call them. We call them tabs. I apologize for those of you who are coming in new, but you have the comments, you have banners, you have media assets, style, private, and recording. But what's new is media assets and style. We did not have those before. Uh, before you had the brand section and it encompassed everything that you will now find inside the media assets space and the style space. And there's a reason, a rhyme to why they split it out in the way that they did. But first, let's take a look at what's in there. So if we go into media assets, um, you'll see your, your logos there. I can add my logo to the screen. I can add that one to the screen. I have different logos at the top. I don't have brand colors, which is a style feature. So that kind of makes sense. Um, but these are things that I would be using regularly throughout my show. And I want to say this, just like the brand tab was where we mostly hung out. That's where we mostly stayed whenever we were doing our live shows. The media assets tab is probably where you will hang out during your live show. So why you might ask? Because the media assets tab is where we can put on an overlay like this one, uh, where we can take uh, a, a different other pieces. You can see that I've just added the, the my website here and my signature in the top corner. That's another transparent overlay that I have in, uh, in my uh, media assets segment in the overlays section. This is where I can put up a, a, a banner or, you know, full overlay graphic that says, thanks for watching. I have a few others here as well that I'm just using to kind of showcase. These are things that I may need to use in a show. And so the media assets tab would be where you'd want to kind of hang out. Again, you can set up your intro video, your outro video right here. You can actually run through your video assets if depending on what's happening in a particular show or stream or recording for that matter. Uh, if you have a podcast and you have the intro already pre-recorded, ready to go, you can upload it here. Again, you would want to make sure that you're in here to be able to, you know, make those tweaks and additions and adjustments. Can change your background maybe add something that's video all of those things you can do on the fly as well you can add your music and a lot of these items you can go into settings go into hotkeys and make those adjustments in hotkeys as well uh, so that you can make those brand or sorry media asset changes on the fly with your stream deck or with a keystroke on your keyboard so that's kind of some of the, the formatting on it. That's some of the things that you want to be thinking through in terms of what, are, what is my new process? Um, because in style, you would basically change, you know, what your branding is. What do I want the di display names to show and headlines? Do I want that there? Do I want to set my presets? We went over that in a previous video and maybe I'll link, put a card to that right here. You can have some kind of brand combinations. What is my brand color? And you'll notice that as I change my brand, right? So if you go back to media assets, you still have the brand, right? The brand here at the top, this is the brand. And just let me pause here to say the brands are kind of like your groupings of assets and settings for particular shows. So each one of these that I have here are different shows. So Preach That is a totally different brand with different video assets, so different media assets and different style. So there's a different color, there's different themes, different default camera, uh, different things that I have selected for that particular 
uh, brand, Birthright Africa, another show that I do for a client. You can see how that has changed the color and the branding and everything like that. This is where you're making sure your brand is set up properly is going to be critical. And let me just also pause right here to say, I believe that StreamYard is setting this up because when scenes become a thing, right, when they add scenes uh, to the studio for us to be able to set up scenes on the other side, right, on the on this uh, left side of the screen, we'll be able to design scenes. You will need to be able to shift between assets fairly quickly. You don't want to have to go out and into another studio. And that's where all of these different functions and features are coming from, I believe. Uh, reusable Studios was one. Uh, getting rid of the brand tab, making those brand combinations. Now we have media assets and style. Then we'll finally come into uh, scenes. Uh, let me just give one more as an example. Here is a financial legacy one. And again, you can see that that brand color has changed. Um, and these, there's some different things in the media assets as well. Different overlays, different formats, different videos even. All of those things are linked to your brand. So it's all, all it's really critical to understand how these all relate to your brand so that you also know how to set things up. What I also want to say here before we get into fonts is your style tab are things that you want to be able to set it and forget it. You don't want to be going in here and changing this stuff up on the fly on a regular basis, um, show by show or even while a show is going on. Unless you have a producer, it's going to be very difficult to come in here and say, really, maybe let me change my my theme uh, for my, my type, my title and headline to classic. I would want to make sure that the, all these details are set. My brand color, my theme, my fonts, all these things are set. My, even my camera shape. I want to make sure all these are set so that I can focus my attention on just running the show, putting up the different videos and overlays that are necessary for the audience to engage with, um, at a particular moment in time. So that's kind of the cheat code here. Set up your style stuff ahead of time so that you only have to focus on media assets. And I think the way that they've split it out enables us to be able to do that um, in an intuitive way. So the the, the last thing I'm going to go back to my my default uh, brand here, which is for how it all works. Um, you'll see all these media assets here. But in the style tab, we now have fonts. And so what I'm going to do really quickly is go to banners and uh, find a banner. Uh, here we go. Here's in one sentence, what is public speaking? So this is a banner. Now I'm going to go back to uh, style, right? Back to style. It's where we are. And I'm going to just select a different font. I've got Amaran Amarante, Bio. There is, they've added 50 plus new fonts. Here's water turncoat. And, so, and I think this actual one, this, this water Walter turncoat actually works closer with the how it all works brand just because of the way the font looks. Um, so there's a lot of different functionality and features you can do here. And I want to be clear, uh, you can see that I've changed this for my default brand. But if I go back to Birthright Africa, it goes back to the default theme, the default font. So the font is tied to the brand. And when you set it, that's what it's going to be every time you go back to it. And that's going to be that's a critical piece for people to to really sink their teeth into. And so, uh, again, I'll come back here. I'll set this. Um, and then if I want to, um, I can go ahead and upload. If I click on the pencil here, right, I'm going to close this out. If I click on this pencil right next to where it says fonts, uh, you will get a, a dialogue that says upload new a new font. And I hit this upload new font button. I can call it whatever name I'd like to call it. Then you see here that it says for the best results, upload a font file for each weight. These file types all work great. OTF, TTF, WOFF, WOFF2. Maximum allowable file size is three meg. Keep all of that in mind. I am just going to uh, uh, dafont.com. That's what this page is, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Not recommending it. I'm just saying this is a, a place that has free fonts. I'm going to download this one here that's called Winter Prime. I kind of like the cursive thing. I'm going to click that. You can see that it just downloaded as a zip file. And on my other screen, I'm going to actually expand that and go back to StreamYard. And under the regular waiting, I'm going to just click on Upload. And you can see I'm already in there. So if I go to back to downloads, you can see that this is the folder that has been expanded, Winter Prime. And I'm just going to select the OTF 
uh, file. Actually, let's go with the TTF file. So we've got that uploaded. I just needed to type the name there. Forgot to type that in. That's typed in now. We've got that uploaded. You can see that checkbox next to it. We uploaded the Winter Prime TTF file. And now we are just going to click on save. Click on save. It's going to take a second or two, but we will have that font added and it will be a choice for us to select at the top. You can see added fonts are at the top. So I'm going to click on that and you can see immediately that that takes effect. And I go back to banner and I take that off. You can see that my title and headline, my name and headline has also been changed. Maybe this is not the best font. <laughs> Some of you are probably saying that in the chat right now. That's fine. Um, but then also if I go to comments and put a comment on screen, the comments are also uh, held by what your font is. So, um, some pretty robust, uh, options that we have here. And again, I cannot uh, stress enough that your brand, uh, tab or sorry, your brand, uh, setup in terms of the brands you have in your system inside your studio. Uh, I have a several, but you have the ability to have, I think up to 10 brands. So 10 different types of shows or recordings, maybe even a podcast that you can do, groupings of videos and, and graphic assets that you are using. Then of course you have your brand color, you have your uh, selected or your font of your choice, and then you have the theme that you'd like to utilize, which affects your uh, name and headline, it affects your banners, it affects your comments. So these are some of the things that are held within your brand settings. And as you flip from one brand to the other, it makes it simple and easy and almost seamless to be able to just ma manage all your shows in one studio. Keeping your brand separate and having everything set before you go live can save a ton of time and makes operating from one studio possible. That's why StreamYard made reusable studios a thing. In this video right here, I walk through that feature, what I missed the first time I saw it and how I'm using it for recordings and shows. Click right here to watch and I'll see you over there. Grace and peace, fam. <laughs>